on, come closer. It's you! I'll never forget you. I must thank you once more. You know me? Where from? We met long ago in Brockelong. Possible. I can't say I remember. No surprise. You were badly wounded then. If not for the Dryad's care, it's unlikely you would have survived. Long time ago. So long it feels like it happened in another life. Maybe that's not so far from the truth. Be glad to glance at what you're selling. Buffail. Welcome, Master Witcher. Hear about the notice, the Witcher contract? Ah, yes. I did post one. I killed the Leshen that attacked the Lumberjacks. That's wonderful. Grand even. I'll have to find some new loggers, but there's no shortage of folk looking for work. But can I be certain no other Leshen will show? It's possible, I suppose. I have to find a Witcher if it happens. Aye. Yes, yes. Well, your due reward. I'm not the kind not to pay for a job well done. Farewell.
Here to talk about the contract. Contract? Ah, yes. Put my mark to something of the sort. Seems a creature's attacking lonely passers-by, abandoning their corpses in gutters around Oxenfurt. Isn't that something you should look into? Perhaps, but we've a plow in war to win. I've got the time to clean gutters. I'll take the job. Need to hear some details. You'll learn everything I know. Like to examine the victim's bodies. A corpse is a corpse. I see the wounds might be able to tell what kind of monster killed them. Ask our sawbones. He'll know if the corpses have been burned or not. You'll most likely find him in the hut on the riverbank. Our impromptu morgue. Any witnesses to these attacks? Anyone see the beast? Some woman survived an attack. They say she's not been sober since. I'll try the tavern in Oxenfurt if you're willing to try talking to her. Won't give me any trouble with the reward, will you? Nah, I want this out of my hair. Your kind spreads disease. for a victim of the beast. Tell me about the monster. How you were attacked. I'd need another bottle to get through it. I think you'll tell me everything I need to know. Bottle or no bottle. Yes. I will. I was leaving the inn that night. Might have had a drink or... I've... I'm sure I wasn't hallucinating. Something down an alley called my name. It was dark. I couldn't see what it was, but... It wasn't no human. 
Of that, I'm certain. What makes you so sure? I just know. This thing grabbed the enemy's skirt, but I broke free and ran. That it? You didn't see much. Don't believe me either, do you? Fuck you! Fuck you all! Bracelet. Pretty worn. Silver under the gilding. Too big for a woman's wrist. Attacker lost it most likely. Victims. Oh, yes. I've not had them burned yet. Must get to that. You've done autopsies yet? Intend to? Why would I? Beggars and vagrants. Every last one stinking of cheap wine. Mind if I have a look? In point of fact, I'd prefer you didn't sniff around. Gonna make me come back with a written order? Good grief. Pushy, aren't we? Here, the key to the morgue. Look all you want. He was drunk. Someone dragged him over the cobblestones. Fang marks on his neck. Vampire sucked his blood. Vampire bites in the strong stench of alcohol. Just like the other one. Phonics the blood of drunkards. That's the way to lower it. Remember you? What'll it be? Wanna get drunk off my ass, and it's gotta be on cheap wine. Trouble with the lass? Or did your enterprise go under? Neither. Just part of the job. I'll need you to pay in advance. Or, and keep it coming. Once was a maid from Vico Varro. Tight at night she'd be loose come morrow. Early in the morning, another maid from Vico Varro plowed with pleasure and drank with sorrow till early in the morning. Catacan didn't hear it. I'll try another verse. <laughs> 